This is San Diego News Network. I'm Rebecca Tolan. We may think of coyotes, even mountain lions, as indigenous to the wilds of Southern California. But how about bears? Yep, grizzly bears once roamed freely in the Cleveland National Forest up until the early part of the last century, in fact. Now an Escondido ecologist is proposing a grizzly bear national monument to preserve hundreds of acres where the furry beast once lived. Rick Halsey is director of the California Chaparral Institute. Welcome, Rick. Hi, Rebecca. How are you doing? It's truly hard to believe that there were grizzly bears in San Diego County. How widespread were they and what happened? Well, they were the biggest, most gregarious mammals in California. They roamed in packs of 10 to 20. They'd go down to the beach and dine on a dead whale and come back up and scare the Native Americans. They were terrified of them, by the way. They really dominated the state, and that's why it's on the flag, and most people don't realize that. And then what happened? Because it was in the early 1900s that the last one was killed, I believe? Right. The last one in Southern California was killed in the Chibuco Ranger District, which is right above Mission Viejo in Southern California. 1908. But before that, they had a population explosion with the Spaniards because they brought in cattle. And so they were basically all over the place. And the preferred habitat was the chaparral. It wasn't forest, it was chaparral. Hmm. Which is what we see in the canyons all right. around San Diego County. So you are proposing this grizzly bear national monument within the Cleveland National Forest. Give us a sense of the land, how big it is, and what it's used for now. Well, it's about 75,000 acres. It's within the National Forest System, so it's federal land. So all it would take would be a simple changeover in terms of how you define it. But the important thing is right now, there's sort of a policy called multiple use in the National Forest. So hiking, mining, dam building, power lines, they all have to get equal say in, in how the land's managed and used. So what we want to do is shift it a little bit over more toward preservation because frankly there just is not enough wild space in Southern California for the population to enjoy nature. So this would be one way to protect it. So you actually want the U.S. Congress to designate it just for recreation, but other people might say, well down the road we may need power lines or timber production in that area. What would you say to them? That's true. Well, you see Central Park in, in, in New York. <laughs> so that's where the National Forests in Southern California are, are headed. Unless we start thinking about these things as invaluable resources and things that need to be protected, they'll slowly be eaten up by multiple abuse, in a sense, is what it's being called. So eventually there's nothing left. And so we have to draw the line at some point and say no more. Are there other examples in our area you can point to that have been preserved? such as Mission Trails Park, right. places that people preserved many years ago. Well, there's the uh, Agua Tibi Natural, uh, Na National Wilderness Area in the Cleveland National Forest. And what wilderness designation does, it protects it more than what you would have in a national forest situation. So you don't have any new roads, you don't have any human development, that kind of thing. So when people go there, they can really experience nature in the raw. And that's such a valuable, important thing to do, especially in this time with technology and, and less and less opportunity for people to get outdoors. So the area in closing that you want to protect that would be the future Grizzly Bear National Monument, right. if people want to get out there and see it and, and see this land sort of in its pristine state, the mm -hmm. way the bears used to roam around, right. where can they go? Where do you recommend they go if they want to hike? or? Well, the walk? best place to go is actually where this monument is proposed. It's, it's in the Chibuco Ranger District in the Cleveland National Forest. And there's a canyon there called Holy Jim Canyon. And that's where the last grizzly bear was killed, right there in that canyon. He was running up there looking for somebody's honey pots, apparently. And unfortunately, it was a female, and unfortunately, her mate had been shot about two years before that. So she was the last one left. Hmm. And when people finally recognize that and see the name Grizzly Bear National Monument, hmm. <laughs> all of a sudden you've got a name, you've got a tag to something, because unless people have an identity, to an entity, it really doesn't exist. Yeah. And it'll make people think twice about, well, grizzly bears are here and they're not here anymore, and, well, gee, maybe we ought to protect the things that we have left. Well, Rick Halsey, thank you so much for your efforts. We look forward to seeing how it turns out. For more information on the proposed Grizzly Bear National Monument, you can go to CaliforniaChaparral.org or our website, SDNN.com. For San Diego News Network, I'm Rebecca Tolan.